So you will climb here, here? this one? Yeah. And I will be hanging over there. We are inviting yeah. different women to come join us in the mountains to empower female climbers and especially alpine climbers because it's just very rare to find two women together. I go. Yeah. My name is Emma Svensson. I'm from Sweden. I'm a photographer, alpine climber, and I live maybe 50% of my life in my van, traveling around on different adventures. I had this typical city life. I also had a photography studio and 12 employees, and these days it's the opposite. Like I spend at least 50% of the time in my van working remote, like a digital nomad. I worked really hard to be able to do that and I will keep working hard for it because it's so worth to me to live your dream and to be able to do what you're really passionate about because for me it has to be, it has to come from the heart. It was just the last couple of years that I started climbing these mountains and going on adventures. I joined a guided tour to climb this mountain via Mountaineer's Route, which is a little bit more hardcore in climbing than just hiking the mountain, as you also can do. So I never climbed the mountain before. I just knew that this is something I have to do. And it was just an amazing experience. And afterwards I felt, yeah, I'm home. This move is really nice. Okay. And then it took me like a year before I climbed my next mountain. And that was Elbrus. And when I came home, I was restless. And I felt, okay, I climbed the highest mountain in Europe. What should I do next? What if I climbed the highest mountain in every country in Europe? Is that even possible for someone like me with very little experience? For the first round I had a rental car from Italy and I had nowhere to sleep except in the car because when I tried to get a hotel after I came down from a mountain it was late in the evening and if I called the hotel somewhere maybe they didn't even speak English and they just hang up on me if they were even open. So I thought maybe I should get a van because that will make the logistics so much easier. <laughs> One thing I really appreciate is having a cooler in my van. So being able to have fresh food, cook something, have a cool drink when you come down from the mountain, that's just life changing. It's the best thing I've ever done is to get this van. It's so much freedom. Right now I have a project where I'm going to climb all 4,000 meter peaks in the Alps. 82 mountains over 4,000 meter and I'm going to do it with only female climbing partners. Because it's very rare that you see two women climbing together in the mountains. So me and my friend Emma, who is my main climbing partner for this project, we are inviting different women to come join us in the mountains to empower female climbers. And this is something I really have a huge passion about. So everything I've been doing my whole life has been about female empowering. I'm changing my life and it's a cool thing uh, at my age, uh, I'm older than you think, to just do that, to do something different and to be brave and change your life this much.